Hi all, welcome to another Seasons at Home video. In this video, I'll be insulating the external walls of our house. For this, I have an insulation that was delivered by the company or provided by the company that has also delivered the house. And it is rock or stone wool type of insulation. So I am becoming a Michelin man because I find that this type of insulation is very irritating, especially on my super sensitive skin. And I get into a lot of troubles if I try to work with it without any skin protection. This type of insulation here in Europe comes in these big walls of the rock wall. The studs inside the walls are approximately some 60 centimeters apart. But this insulation, the thickness of the rolls is much bigger than the space between the studs. So what I have to do is I have to roll it out and cut it into the exact sizes uh, for the particular part. I do it so that I measure the lowest po point where it's going and then the highest point where it should go. And then on this I add one centimeter or half an inch of extra and then I measure and I cut. For cutting the insulation I have purchased the cheapest insulation knife that I could find on Amazon. And I used the I bought the double sided knife that has like one side with big teeth and the other side with small teeth so that it can cut various parts where various types of insulation because we actually have three types of insulation to be add to be added. This insulation is sixteen centimeters and it's going on the inside of the external walls because the external walls are already insulated with some 20 centimeters which is about 9 inches of styrofoam this is an extra 7 inches or 16 centimeters of the insulation added to those walls the house is extremely extremely insulated from the outside temperatures and you can see now that I have cut it I have my piece and I'm going to take it with me and I'm going to put it into the spot that I have measured so each and every spot I measure again and again I cannot just take for granted the size between the studs because like I said each stud is a bit different it's made from wood these are not super fine-tuned and when I'm adding the insulation to the wall, I first put bottom part and then I go slowly towards the top of the piece. And then if necessary, I also push it with my hands. Now, in this instance, I forgot to put my protective glasses on and I already had some insulation on my face that was not that good. But for the rest of them, I actually used my glasses. So it really isn't that big of a deal. You measure, you cut, and then you install. If you're wondering why I skipped the small one, why well, I skipped that one over there, it's because I get the off cuts that look like so, that are much smaller at the end of the row. So potentially this off cut, I think it will fit, oh, no, no, this is the internal wall, this is the other type of, but Please see how narrow this is. So 
what I do is I use the roll to fill in the the big ones, the wide ones, and then I use off cuts that fit to fill this up. So that's why I skipped it. And this is what the end result is looking like. Unfortunately, I forgot to record the bits that I've done on that day, which was the part of the kitchen, the pantry, the toilet, and one wall inside the tech room. Besides this half of the wall inside the bedroom, so you don't see this done on this in this report. But you see how it looks like. That's how it looks like on those walls as well. And... I hope that next time I will be able to go outside and do the foundation insulation, which is a completely different beast by itself. So, see you soon, take care, and bye-bye!